jail, gang violence can erupt any time, any place, even in medium security divisions like this one. In Division 2, officers are called to the scene of a vicious brawl. They sift through the mayhem and discover a battle between generations. The victim, 53-year-old Carlton Shorter, was jumped by a number of young inmates, all members of the Gangster Disciples. Officers line the inmates along the wall and tell Shorter to point out his attackers. It's a dangerous move. Retaliation among gang members is common. And these targeted men are furious. Shorter tells officers he was defending himself against inappropriate attacks. Despite fears of retaliation, he plans to respond in his own way. Do you wish to press charges against them? Yes, all of them? All, all the ones that you, that you pointed out on video? While some gangbangers carry their street rivalries into jail, others join with their enemies to survive. In Division I, inmates Stephen Bryant and Elijah Cordero have been housed together for four months. They come from rival Chicago gangs. Insane Deuce and Maniac Latin Disciples. But in jail, they protect each other. And the world is different. You're trying to hear them combined, and, and the world is totally different. And the world, we're at each other's head. When we come in here, we bless a friend. But today, Bryant's being shipped out to start an 85-year prison sentence for murder. And Cordero heads to the yard with no one to watch his back. Yard time can be a battleground for settling gang scores. So all inmates must take a seat in this chair nicknamed the boss before heading outdoors. This machine, to put it nicely, can check areas that we cannot check. Body orifices, like if they had something hidden in the rectal area. The boss prevents any inmate from bringing metal into the yard. I say they had a knife and they sat in this chair, it, it's going to go off. Any, any metal at all that's on them. Gangbanger Elijah Cordero passes the inspection. With his roommate leaving for prison, Cordero will need to find a new ally. That was my roadie right there, but you know, it went south for him, so he had to do what he had to do, you know? Gangbangers know protection is crucial. Violence can erupt at any moment. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Cook County Jail, man. Nothing is what it seems, you know what I'm saying? Might seem smooth. We can tell you right now, everybody's cool and think. Everything's smooth. You live here by the night, three people got stabbed. Man, one day here. The gang life ain't all that is cracked up to me. Either you gonna rest in peace or you gonna rest in prison. That's basically what it boils down to. Division 5 receiving hundreds of new faces roll in every day. It's a breeding ground for monsters. Officers must stay on alert to prevent rival gang members from turning the bullpen into a battleground. You don't know who's right or who when everybody's in the bullpen. So everybody say they ain't right no gangs. But you put them all in the bullpen and they can be ready to make a transition to go to court. It's an uproar. To keep tabs on the gangs, staff identifies affiliated members during processing. When possible, non-gang members, so-called neutrons, are placed on a new kind of tier in Division 4. We've thrown in some ideas of developing a division as a gang-free population, where we have very seldom any problems, any problems whatsoever. 
More than 400 inmates live on the gang-free tiers. Director Godinez plans to expand them. But Godinez and his colleagues know that gangs are a fact of life on both sides of these walls. So 